turn 5 I had a very good fight uh, which I'm going to show because I'm quite proud of it <laughs> for once uh, so I cleared, I finished clearing this area which I'm going to settle soon uh, with a gold mine, mercenary camp and uh, magma forge so it's quite nice, I've got a lot of income and some production uh, I'm not sure how I, will, how I will use it later but we'll see maybe some prospectors or just to, to produce gold and uh, after I cleared the mercenary camp I moved back in this direction because in one turn, I'm going to get a quest from Gatel, my uh, future vassal outpost. And so I'm going to uh, do this quest and clear the sites there and the uh, quarries there. Uh, I should get some nice rewards. My light uh, cleared one site here and uh, lost uh, one unit, but it's uh, okay. So he lost uh, Ice Caper. Uh, because he was charged by the human knight early on and uh, he was not able to resist and now he's level 2 and 2 uh, with his warlord and theocrat and on my part I'm level 3 and 3, I leveled up this turn uh, so 3 with my dreadnought leader and 3 with my rogue uh, Tara's infiltrator and I'm already 149 out of 150 with my leader so I will level up quickly to level 4 and same for Tara and so obviously I'm taking Guardian Flame to get some healing uh, I got two very nice items in the mercenary camps very useful uh, a silver skull cap of the moon so plus one defense plus one resistance and spirit protection 20% and uh, a frost harpoon which is really really good with my leader because I've got a uh, rifle and so it fires only once every two turns and on the other turn I would be able to use the uh, harpoon and also harpoon I really like them because it allows to um, immobilize some units and uh, so it avoids having um, fight really allows some control during the tactical fight tactical combat. So let's have a look at this fight now. So it was uh, two orc shock troopers, the T3 orc, uh, one impeller, the pikeman, one infantry orc and a priest and uh, the battlefield was like this so I decided to uh, go uh, I wanted to split the orc shock troopers that was the main aim because two shock troopers at once was too difficult so the way I saw to, to do this, to achieve this, was to put one unit here on the uh, corner in the bottom right uh, to bring this shock trooper, to attract this shock trooper and then my army there on the uh, top uh, side of the, of the map to bring the other shock trooper and because there is only a small passage here uh, only one shock trooper should go and the priest should move somewhere else or something also the priest it has throw curse, um, so it, it, it means he's going to throw curse first and uh, not charge forward, so it will also slow it down. And then I tried to bring also the uh, Impeller and the Great Sword uh, on the south. So I moved all my units uh, north uh, to the top in order to, to, to do this plan, and uh, I moved my um, Prospector on 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 a site where it would attract the other units. And then I calculated very carefully uh, the movement of the shock trooper because it moves 5x and my prospector moves 4 and I wanted to bring them for two turns. So I calculated I, have, I had to position myself uh, precisely I think here uh, so that the shock trooper would come here and then with 5x he would not be able to attack me and I would then retreat. And that's exactly what happened. And I position my army on the top very far so that they don't attract the shock trooper toward them. And then I used my uh, I used Tara because she was full HP uh, to uh, uh, take the first strikes from the shock trooper, and also she has first strike, uh, so she hits twice when she she gets hit. Then I used my flashbang from my leader 
to uh, engage this fight uh, because I didn't want to move uh, toward them because that would have attracted the, the units. And so as planned, the, the priest uses uh, its workers and then doesn't move. The shock trooper moves as planned toward me and the three units as planned toward the, the prospector who can then move back uh, to avoid uh, to, to, to put them even farther from the rest of the, of the action. Then I move back my units and I put Tara so that she gets hit. And the shock trooper attacks Terra, which strikes two times uh, with critical hits because I've got Imperial Authority, so I've got high morale uh, and uh, high chances of, uh, of uh, critical. So high morale thanks to Imperial Authority. I retreat my prospector, uh, flank the, the shock trooper while making sure that I will not get uh, hit by the orc priest. Get some uh, small XP from from my spy drone. Then I I tried something new. Uh, I uh, charge forward, shot rifle, the musket on the priest, and then um, sorry I should put that on. I used quick dash, uh, restored 50% HP movement points, and then charged the priest and killed it. So I really like this uh, uh, consecutive movements, it was pretty nice. And then for the rest I tried to um, split them again. So I put my leader here so that he attracts the, the, the two T1s and then the prospector here so that you attract the shock trooper and it works quite well. Then I move my spy drone to replace the leader and the leader backs to deal with the shock trooper. Uh, didn't work perfectly but was okay. I position Terra again so that she can hit the shock trooper and get hit by it uh, to remove its guard and then I can flank it. It's really important to position yourself like this to remove guard otherwise you really do low damage. And so here it's not perfect because the two units uh, came uh, like this but then I position my drone again to try to attract the, um, the guys. I move to uh, with the uh, cavalry to uh, take the charge, and uh, so two shock troopers dead. These guys like this. I try to attract the the impeller again, and I position myself to be hit by the great sword, but not the impeller, and then I will uh, finish them. So I think from this, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I had some uh, uh, HP on my leader that could re regen, so I let it get hit by the impeller, and then I take the XP with uh, Terra. So that's it. Uh, I'm not going to cast any spell for now because I don't have very high mana and I don't see any useful spell to cast. One Spider is enough. I started researching Engineer, and I hope I can get. Um, the Empire upgrade on my last uh, slot in the research book, but not very confident. And after I will produce one engineer here, after I get the, um, after or bef maybe before I get the uh, settler, uh, because engineer are really really good with flashbang and uh, plunderburst etc. That's it.